Well, I like to think that Sam was kind of a younger me. He was a delightful person, both he and his brother. I, I have to mention his brother because they worked together and his brother nearly died with him that day. And only the day before Sam was killed, a large rock, again about the size of a pickup truck, rolled down the hill because an excavator was working above the crew below. The next day, Sam and Ireland go to work and they have to do hand drilling in a very tough spot where they felt that it was exposed to loose rock from way above. And the company, more or less, as they well, they well knew the superintendent who would fire anyone who didn't do anything his way. So they went to work and they weren't happy about working there. They knew it was dangerous. And Sam's last words to Ireland were, let's just get this over with. And not long after that, Sam was dead. And when he got into the discovery of what took place, moments thereafter was Ireland, his surviving brother, and others discovered that there were not one but two big excavators working right directly above them and the other guys. You know, this was not an accident. The United Steel Workers are doing something that other unions and or politicians and other, other people should be doing. What they're trying to do and what they are doing is educating people to the fact that perhaps a thousand people, workers, workers are people. They're dying every year, a thousand people a year in, in Canada and not one criminal conviction. I think it's important for the Westray law to be enforced simply because if you're going to have a law, it should be enforced. People don't want to see people killed and children without fathers or mothers and all that that flows from that simply because somebody wanted to make a profit. 